Hello and welcome to Intuos Leo. In this video, I'll show you how to fix your GPU's temperatures in the hot summer days. As you can see, we're running a Formark test and the GPU goes up to 93 degrees, which is not healthy. The GPU is not from the newest, it's the Sapphire Airline 280X Toxic. But you'll get the job done to show you how to fix the GPU. Before removing anything from the PC, we need to turn off the power supply so there is no electricity. Also, one more tip. Before removing the GPU, don't forget to remove any HDMI's or display ports from the GPU. Unscrew the GPU from the case. Unplug all of the GPU power connections. And after that, push the pin from the motherboard so you can free the GPU out. The R9 280X Toxic looks very good with its 3 fan design and also the black and orange goes really well. To fix this GPU's temperature we're gonna change the thermal paste, but first to do that we need to remove all of the screws so we can free off the heatsink to change our thermal paste. After you unscrewed all the screws, just lift it off gently and remove all of the power connectors for the LED lights and also the fans. Opening the GPU, we can see that the thermal paste has completely dried up, so it doesn't make that much of a good contact with the cooler so it can cool off. To remove the old thermal paste, you can use some alcohol and some cotton. You can also clean the GPU's heatsink. If you want to, there are also screws which you can remove to clean off the fans. There are also screws into the graphics card where you can remove the backplate so you can replace the turn pads if you want to, but that's not necessary. And here is the crucial part of fixing the GPU's temperatures, the thermal paste. The thermal paste application will be even better if you have something to spread on the thermal paste into the chipset. After you have done all that, put the heatsink back onto the chipset, reconnect your fans and also the LEDs. And now the GPU is ready to be inserted into the PCI slot. Screw it in back to the case so it's safely attached into the case. Next up, the only thing left is the power connections. Unfortunately, I don't have the GPU anymore, but the temperatures drop from 93 degrees to 60 to 65 degrees at maximum load. Hope you liked the video, subscribe, click the bell icon and also don't forget to like and share it to other friends. See you in the next video. Peace from Enthusiast Leo.